Hey guys, this is my Socorro Black Fig. It comes from Socorro, New Mexico, I believe. It was found there. And this is a tree that has a pretty good reputation for being quite tasty. You can see it's quite productive and um, you know, it even has such a nice reputation that I decided to graft this onto my brown turkey rootstock. If you've seen my earlier videos when I first started, I had grafted Smith onto this rootstock and then we air layered Smith off of this tree. And we were left with just a stump. But I managed to get Socorro Black grafted onto this stump and it's grown quite well. It's put out a lot of figs this year. This is my second year after grafting it. And in the second year after grafting this uh, tree, it's put out quite a good crop. And I, I don't think this fig here is just yet ready, but I want to pick it because it's kind of split at the eye and it's got a little crack here and we're getting a lot of rain coming in. It's sort of soft. Uh, it doesn't have the color though of these two over here, which is quite weird. Probably has to do with the amount of sunlight it's been getting. You know, these figs, sometimes if you give them enough sunlight, they'll put out really pretty colors for you, just like most fruits. But let's look at this fig here, guys, and we'll talk about it. Put you guys down for just two seconds. Sorry, the camera's falling all over the place. <clears throat> let's get this out of here. Now, the interior of this fig is actually quite <clears throat> quite red. Sorry guys for my uh, throat there. But the fig I think will get a little dark on the outside as you've seen on the other figs that I, I didn't pick yet. But the interior is really red, uh, which indicates an interesting berry flavor. <clears throat> Similarly shaped to Black Madeira, uh, Borges so Grease, it's very s flat. It actually looks a lot like Borges so Grease, but not as dark on the skin. And you can see here what a beautiful fig this is. A bit underripe, you can see that in the whiteness of the pith surrounding the pulp. But uh, nonetheless, it's got lots of honey in there, glistening jam. And it's going to have a berry, uh, berry flavor for sure. There's a lot of seeds in here too, which is interesting. Let's try it. Wow. Very good. Um, very sweet. Didn't have the sharp berry flavor of an Italian 258 that I just ate. You can see here's Italian 258. Um, quite different figs actually but there's a lot of the same quality like um, you can tell this is a high quality fig what's also weird is that on some figs the the pulp will come right off the skin should you peel it that way you can see this little part here and you can really take the the skin off of this which the skins pretty thick um, But I wouldn't say that intrusive. Very sweet variety, guys. I'm not picking up a whole lot of uh, complex flavor, though. But it's good. I'm interested to see when this is a little bit more ripe what happens to the flavor. But you can see that's like pretty good jam in there, you know? Quite a tasty fig, um, you know. So that was Sakura Black Eyes. This is for me an eight out of ten, but you know, so far this is my this is the first fig I've eaten off the street. So you never know. But anyway, everyone, that was Sakura Black again. Um, thank you so much for watching. I don't really know too much about the growth habit of this tree just yet. You know, it seems uh, about mid-season. It was the last fig to put out any kind of figs or even wake up in the greenhouse this year.
but it still has a pretty good crop on it. So I think this is way earlier in my mind than something like uh, Italian 258 or Black Madeira that was awake in the greenhouse way earlier. And this one woke up, like I said, was the last one to wake up. And with a pretty decent, really not that much of a head start, it put out a pretty good crop. Um, the rain, I don't know, but it has a pretty closed eye. You saw the one that I picked, it was splitting. This eye is open, so who knows? Who really knows about this tree, you know? It came from New Mexico, and not many people have had a chance to really uh, test out the growth habit, but that was me eating the fruit for you guys and telling you about the flavor. It's really good, so that was Socorro Black. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.